And good morning. That's something I've not said before in an interview. But good morning to Camp Jailer. We've been kindly invited in. Thanks for talking to Metal, some Metal Planet Music here. Please introduce yourselves. Um, I'm uh, I'm James. I'm the lead singer of uh, Jailer. I'm Tyler. I'm the lead guitar player of Jailer. We're um, a four-piece band, but there's only two of us here. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, we're at Steel House. Yeah, I mean, this isn't the first time you've come up. I remember you guys here last year making a brilliant racket. <laughs> I thought we'd got to come over and say hello and find out a bit more about you guys, because I kind of think now this is part of what Steel House is all about. It's not just about what goes on in the stage. It's the campsite. It's people like yeah. yourselves, young, aspiring musicians. Definitely. Um, well... When we put, uh, it wasn't like we weren't planning on getting crowds here uh, when we did it last year. We just wanted to jam ourselves. It's yeah, just a bit of fun. We're like uh, we're going to a festival. Got to bring some guitars. Yeah, and then uh, last year some people came over and they were like, "Oh, we can't really hear the the vocals that well." So we, we brought the PA, the mix of the microphones, make more of a racket, and we, loads of people have come and listened, and it was uh, quite an experience, uh, especially after playing after those guys were playing on the actual big stage and some people actually had the time out to come watch us play and just two of us, it's just crazy. It's great, I mean, and this is what built Steelhouse into what being Steelhouse. I mean, you guys have been coming for quite a few years, haven't you? Oh, I've been coming since 2016, yeah. I love the festival. Um, in fact, it was a good few years ago um, I used to start bringing a guitar and um, some people would come along and be, hey, you know, I can play acoustic, I can play Kahan or whatever. And we, uh, we always created a jam session. And when I met James a few years ago, um, like I said, first year for him was last year. I'm like, well, we've got, we got to do something. And yeah, it, it. yeah, <laughs> and it just evolved to sing. And, uh, you know, on a Thursday night, the campsite, there's, there's no music on, it's just the campers. So we're like, well, here's our chance to uh, create a little oh, gig, sure. a little concert, yeah. 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 <laughs> And that certainly has taken off. I mean, the crowds you're drawing in have been quite amazing. Yeah. yeah. And last night in the pouring rain, and there's people stood outside the, <laughs> the marquee here, and you're drawing people in, which is at your you know, fledgling stage of your career. It's got to be quite a buzz. Yeah. Absolutely, definitely. yeah. Even if, we're, even if we're playing in front of people here in the campsite or on stage, it's always a buzz. We just enjoy music so much, and we get a right kick out of just playing in front of people. We would literally eat sleep, play, and that's it. Yeah. Happy days. I mean, you've woken up the campsite this morning with a brilliant Stevie Ray Vaughan number, that howling freight train, that lovely tonage in the guitar. What other in, um, sort of inspirations and heroes, dare I say it? Um, vo vocally, um, I'd have to say Robert Plant yeah. and Jim Morrison. Um, probably the, um, the Who as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if, but I've been, I, I, I haven't been singing like that for a while, I think as I joined Jailer, I started to learn how my voice works and find out where I shine, and um, that's that's those inspirations kind of came out of me, I guess, and uh, I'm all combined of three. Nice and tight. Yeah. So yeah, um, when when we formed Jailer, I mean, it was instantly we started playing Led Zeppelin, and ACDC, and those kinds of things. Um, I've always been drawn by. Um, just guitar in general. I mean, my dad may be an ACDC fan when I was very young, so I've always loved ACDC. Um, guitarists, you know, some of my heroes, you know, Eddie Van Halen, David Gilmore, and I've always loved that. And, and it's nice that we can, all four of us have got these different influences in the bands, and um, we all come together and create this thing that, that out of our influences. And yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. So, I mean, this is something I always say to artists at you know, your stage is it's not about being the next something or other, it's about being the first jailer, yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And with these inspirations, you can come out with many different concoctions, I guess. Yeah, and, and that's yeah. something music has done over history, isn't it? You know, they blend different genres. Definitely, yeah. You know, sometimes I'm, quite conflicting, and it builds a new sound. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a country lover at heart. I love John Denver, you know, yeah. Bob country Dylan. Boy. And, uh, and, and he's like a huge, you know, Van Halen. I like, I like it. I like it. And when we combine them too, I guess the jailer is formed with like the country twang of uh, the lyrics and uh, and kind of the melody lines and then the heavy guitars and the heavy drums, and it's just what happens. Yeah, because you hail from quite a um, oh, I'm just thinking the word a very rich area in terms of metal and rock history oh, yeah. in the Midlands. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah some, bands like Sabbath. I know some of the heroes <laughs> from there, and yeah, it's it's brilliant, you know, and, and to be in a place there, and I think at the moment, you know, this this sort of rock. I mean, look, Steel House, all these festivals, they're, they're coming back, and it's it's great to yeah. see. Um, 
all, all this you know buzz about rock music and where we are and people coming to our gigs and talking about oh you know I I I'm not not normally a fan of rock music but I like you guys and it, yeah you know we're starting to hear that quite a bit now and, and it's, it's just, really nice over time we've know me and Tyler have noticed mu music has gotten heavier and heavier and it's almost bands are trying to top each other with how heavy they can get so me and Tyler want to take it back to where it was kind of lost and. Re restore yeah. it like that la late 70s early 80s proper true rock and roll with the big drums big guitars nice. doesn't need to be heavy to yeah. be powerful yeah because you've got a couple of sing singles out on Spotify is it Acid Rain yes and and Peace in Our Time Peace in Our Time yeah. yeah I mean they're great tracks what's the plan going forward more, <laughs> more music I presume yeah well um, we've we've uh, we've just finished building our own studio in this yeah. barn and um, so we've really been recording us. EPs uh, so Acid Rain's got a rehash, uh, Peace in Our Time's got a redo, like all the guitars and vocals have been redone just to really make sure we found the sound we were looking for. Because the Acid Rain we recorded in my bedroom with a with a crappy little uh, interface and just crappy guitars. Yeah, it was just yeah, and program piece, drums. Most of Peace in Our Time as well, guitars were, were, were in your living room. Yeah, you know? so, it's a real DIY. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now that we've got the studio, we want to make sure our message has come across as clear as possible yeah. to show that we are ready to take that step thing. up now. Yeah. I mean, you've recently supported Phil Campbell, one of our fellow Welsh friends here. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that was Phil one Campbell, amazing we, uh, gig. We supported uh, Inglorious yeah, as well, yeah. who headlined the Friday last yes, year. Yes, yeah. yeah. it was quite surreal because when we came here, we were like, oh, this band Inglorious, you know, me and James, you know, really, really started to find a love for them. And then it was, it must have been many weeks later. We got the call from KK. He's like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, um, and we don't even go in. What, it must have been like seven months. Yeah, I was like a full band. Yeah, seven months. Yeah, because I mean, KK is a great venue. You must aspire to wanting to headline venues like that. Play it's these big dream. Like yeah. Steelhouse, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely Steelhouse. Yeah, yeah it's one of the That's reasons why. Just so many yeah. memories. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it'd just be great because I know it's a great audience uh, and it's all a good time, all good vibes. Yeah, I mean, it's a passionate crowd. They love their rock and roll. They, they evidently they love you guys. <laughs> yeah. We must be doing something, right? <laughs> well, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And you've got dates coming up in October, I understand. You're at Shark Fest at the station. Yeah, we're at Shark Fest at the station. Uh, we're also back at the station supporting Collateral, which um, is a band that I first heard here. Uh, which I think, again, Steelhouse, you find so many new bands that we haven't heard before. Um, what was it the Karma Effect? Yeah, the Karma Effect. Yeah, good guys. Oh, yeah. Wow. Good guys, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're proper like, um, yeah, so they, they're definitely bringing that 70s. Southern. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it reminded me of a band called Dirty Honey. Yeah, and they big, were, big time. That's wow. Big, someone were, said that to me during their fans. set. You know, you've got the Allman Brothers and oh, all yeah. oh, that Southern. Oh, it's beautiful. brilliant. Twin lead. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, you want a sport call? So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, where can we find you guys on social media? Uh, we're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. pretty much everything. Yeah, we're all all at Jailer Bands. We've got our own website, Jailer.co.uk. The name um, up there, guys. Yes. <laughs> Bang. Oh, oh he, he's that's a bit thin. Yeah, <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. But yeah, um, we're anywhere. You just give us a Google search, and um, we've got tour dates online. Uh, we've got tour posters on our Facebook. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're we just well. trying. What's some merch? We do have some merch. Yeah, on the website or at the gigs. And uh, yeah, we're just trying to get out there. We're trying to move because we, you know, we, we normally play pubs and clubs and small venues in the Midlands, but we're trying to branch out. You know, like you said, we've played at KKs. Okay, yeah. And um, we you know we, we just played in London, um, and we're really trying to branch out now and kind of expand our audience because we are. We're still doing the covers, but we're trying to. We, we, we're writing more songs. We're trying to get those out there, and yeah, hopefully we'll. Um, we play m more places doing our yeah. own stuff. So you mentioned you got an EP in the pipeline. Yes. Yeah. Five tracks, I understand. Uh, yeah, five tracks with a with a bonus track of a yeah. cover. So yeah. We're not going to say what the cover is yet. Yeah. And we're always changing things as well. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so that's, that's why we're not going to say knows? what the cover is. Because we might, it might change. Yeah. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna re are you going to release a couple of <clears throat> I mean, tracks as feeders into the EP? We might release one with a music video. Yeah. Um, just to get everyone kind of pumped for the EP and yeah. then do a release there. yeah we haven't done a music video yeah. in a while so. I mean not yeah. pushing a date but when you're, right, you're later this year early next year we hope yeah. so late, late this it, year. it'd be nice to get out later this year yeah, um, yeah. we just want to make sure it's right yeah Cause happy know, days yeah because yeah, we're all independent you know independent artists there's the four of us um, we've got our own studio but we're doing everything by ourselves you know everything's being recorded so it's the first time doing this so yeah we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes I mean it's been exciting talking to you guys, meeting you guys, finally getting up, just to say, come and say hello, you know, and it's, it's what we at MPM are about, yeah, we, we cover the big guys, 
but it's about championing the young emerging bands like yourselves. Yeah, yeah that's yes. Thank you. No, it, we really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, it, I, it's just nice to see people come in supporting us here. You know, we, we again, we just wanted to have, have a bit of fun and it's turned to this like mini concert thing here. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's always been a dream of mine. I mean, Steel House, you know, to play here. So just to get to play in this uh, campsite yeah, is just so amazing. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, before long, too long. We'll get you on that main stage. We, yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Cross. Max, Mike, if you're listening to this, these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, Tyler, it's been an absolute Cheers, thank pleasure. You so much. Thank you Thank so you very much. much. Appreciate it. Cheers, guys.